Properly fitting a football helmet is essential for the most effective performance of the helmet system. A helmet truly functions as a system and must be fitted properly to perform its best. The helmet that protects the best is the one that has been properly fitted. That's why you should take special care to make sure it's done properly. Communication between the player and the person who's fitting the helmet is absolutely vital to getting a proper fit and achieving optimum performance from the helmet system. The player is the one who will be able to tell you if the helmet is too tight or too loose, whether the face guard is obstructing his vision or whether or not the chin strap feels right, among many other variables. The person fitting the helmet is the one who needs to make adjustments to the helmet system, assuring a proper fit is achieved. As you prepare to fit a helmet on a player, make sure he fully understands the importance of achieving a proper fit and his role in that fitting. In addition, make sure the player reads and understands the warning label on the helmet about the inherent risks of playing football. For younger players, be sure to read the label aloud to him and review it with him. Above all, after the player has been properly fitted with a helmet, make sure he understands the helmet is not intended to be used as a weapon. When he's playing, he should keep his head up at all times. He should not butt, ram, spear, or strike any player with any part of his helmet or face guard. The helmet is the single most important piece of protective equipment a football player can wear. The helmet system performs most effectively when it's properly fitted on a player. The proper fitting of the helmet is a responsibility shared by both the player and an experienced person fitting the helmet on him. This may not sound important to you right now, but it is the most important information you can receive regarding the most effective performance of your helmet system. Keep your head up. Do not butt, ram, spear, or strike an opponent with any part of the helmet or face guard. This is a violation of football rules and may cause you to suffer severe brain or neck injury, including paralysis or death, and possible injury to your opponent. Contact in football may result in concussion brain injury, which no helmet can prevent. Symptoms include loss of consciousness or memory, dizziness, headache, nausea, or confusion. If you have symptoms, immediately stop and report them to your coach, trainer, and parents. Do not return to a game or contact until all symptoms are gone and you receive medical clearance. Ignoring this warning may lead to another and more serious fatal brain injury. No helmet system can protect you from serious brain and or neck injuries, including paralysis or death. To avoid these risks, do not engage in the sport of football. The Youth Ion 4D is a premium youth football helmet that gives you a great, comfortable fit with maximum protection in a bold, aggressive design that players love, and it's very easy to properly fit. The first thing to do is accurately measure the circumference of the player's head using a cloth measuring tape. To get an accurate measurement, make sure you place the tape around the widest point on the player's head. Generally, that's about one inch above the eyebrows. Next, use this chart to find the helmet size that is the best starting point for your player. Now remember, these sizes are recommendations only. Because each player's head is shaped differently, the actual helmet size that best fits him may not be the helmet indicated in this chart. Now, you need to properly inflate the airliner. The Youth Ion 4D features an inflatable liner that gives your player the precise custom fit that makes the helmet so comfortable. Properly adjusting the inflation of the liner is essential to achieving the most effective performance of the helmet system. First, place the helmet on the player's head. To properly inflate the airliner, we recommend using a shut inflation pump and needle. It's important to use the right needle for this. Common needles, the type used to inflate basketballs, soccer balls, and other equipment, are too long and they can damage the airliner. Make sure you lubricate the needle generously. We recommend glycerin for this. It's important that you don't wet the needle with your mouth or use petroleum-based products like petroleum jelly for this lubrication, as both can damage the walls of the airliner. There are two inflation ports on the Youth Ion 4D. The one you're going to start with is on the bottom in the back. 
This port will allow you to inflate the lateral airliner inside the helmet. The goal here is to inflate the liner so that it's snug against the player's head, but not overly tight. Proper inflation of the port will usually require zero to three pumps, but that will vary for each individual player. In case too much air enters the liner, you can use the release valve on the pump to get rid of it. After you've properly inflated the lateral airliner, remove the needle from the helmet and repeat the process for the other inflation port at the top of the helmet. You'll now need to inflate the crown liner, which you'll do through the other inflation port at the top of the helmet. Check to see if the needle needs to be re-lubricated and repeat the steps as before. Proper inflation of the crown liner will usually require zero to two pumps, but that will vary with each individual player. A properly fitted helmet will be snug on a player's head, but not overly tight. The nose bumper and front edge of the helmet should be a little less than one inch above the player's eyebrows. Now an easy way to check this is to use your index finger as a measuring stick. The proper distance is about one to one and a half fingers between the eyebrows and the front edge of the helmet and the nose bumper. On to the chin strap. As a premium youth helmet, the Youth Ion 4D comes standard with two chin straps, a four point high chin strap with longer straps, as well as a youth hard cup chin strap. While these two chin straps are different with different features, they are both fit the same way. You can use a special through the face guard hookup for your chin strap. This method of attaching the face guard is unique to the Youth Ion 4D and the Energy Wedge face guard that goes with it. In this hookup, thread the top chin strap through the slot in the face guard as shown. Instead of going up with the chin strap, however, to the top of the helmet, loop the strap downward and attach it to the lower part of the helmet. Have the player hold the chin cup securely over his chin and keep it there while the chin straps are being adjusted. Now attach the bottom straps. Adjust all four straps so that the chin cup is snug and centered on the player's chin without the player holding it in place. There should be no slack in any of the straps and the ear holes on the helmet should be centered over the player's ears. After the helmet is properly fitted, go ahead and cut off the excess strap. The Youth Ion 4D helmet is also scored for attachment of an upper chin snap, so you can use traditional methods of attaching the chin strap, such as the four point high method. The final pieces of the fitting puzzle are the jaw pads. Your Youth Ion 4D comes equipped with a pair of 1 and 1 8 inch jaw pads. They should be snug against the player's face, flush with his jaw. If there is a gap between his cheeks and the pad, or if the pads are pushing into his cheeks, try a different size jaw pad, which are available from your local shut dealer or retail store. One final check to see if you've properly fitted the helmet. Try to rotate the helmet while it's on the player's head. It's okay for the player's hair and skin to move with the helmet as it's rotated, but the helmet should never wobble, tilt, rotate, or otherwise move independently. If the helmet does move, the helmet has not been properly fitted, and the steps in the fitting process should be repeated until a proper fit has been achieved.